celebrate the brand new year, we are going to be giving away 10 regular Fenix on our channel to 10 individual winners. And all you've got to do is follow these three simple steps. First of all, make sure you are subscribing to the channel and turning on post notifications so you don't miss a future upload. Second of all, make sure you have dropped a like on today's video. And third of all, simply comment your details down below. And 10 completely random winners are going to be selected when the channel hits 290,000 subscribers. So best of luck to every single one of you. And yeah, enjoy the video. Okay, so boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, take a look at your screen right now. Today is finally the day we are going to be getting ourselves our dream item, which is the Alpha Boos. Alright guys, so welcome back to the channel. I hope you are having a fantastic and safe day as always. And honestly, yeah, I've got no words as today we finally complete our dream car setup. So as of right now, there's only a few on the whole entire Xbox market. And today is going to be the day we're collecting this thing. And I still can't even believe it. For more crazy stuff like this, I'm not even going to give an in-depth reason. But make sure you are subscribing if you're new and turning on post notifications. And if you want to one day see the white hat on the channel, let's just say 10,000 likes. And I'll try my absolute best. And yeah, let's jump straight into it. Quickly, before we do jump into this video, I'd love to give a huge shout out to the fan favorite sponsor on the channel, AOA.com. So I've been working with these guys for several years now and they're the fastest and most reliable place to pick up any Rocket League item and by using the code in the description, you are going to get yourself 6% off every single purchase. Okay, so what you are seeing on your screen right now is one of my closest friends called Leighton literally giving me about 800,000 credits in value and this is why. He was easily by far one of the richest traders in the game back in 2017, 2018 but he's had a massive break from the game and basically said, you can literally borrow these items and pay me back in the long run. It's about 800,000 credits and honestly, Thank you so much, Leighton. This link is going to be down below. Let's try and push him to 32,000 subs at least anyway, because it would mean the world to me. But yeah, in total, he gave me 18 black dices, a white dune racer, striker black dune racer, striker white emeralds, and three white octanes, which is, yeah, like I said, we got 600k for the dices, then the striker black dune racer, that's probably like 50. Regular white dune racer is 50. Striker white emeralds is about 60, 70, and all of the white octanes combined. It's probably like 75, so that's like 850,000 credits. In the long run, I'm going to give Leighton either the alpha boost or a million credits. Credits. We'll have to work out at some point, but yeah, I'm definitely going to pay him back, even if I have to sell items, even if I have to buy off the store, I will do. But yeah, thank you very much once again to Leighton. As you can see in the trade window right there, I'm giving him two white Apex on top, which are actually mine. So yeah, this in total is about 1.05 million credits we are paying for the alpha boost. The cheapest I've seen on the market, normally they're going for about 1.5 mil, but the profit is going to be ridiculous if I do decide to sell this thing, but I can't guarantee that. The guy that I'm actually trading with, the Doctor Prof, is probably one of the biggest traders in Rocket League history. He's a massive middleman. He used to be on the subreddit as well, which is, uh, I'm not going to talk about it, but nevertheless, anyway, a really nice guy, and thank you very much for the insane trade. And then obviously afterwards, we have got those two decals right there, and that is the trade complete. Wow, I can't even believe it. I've completed the whole car setup, though. You're going to see it in just a sec. This car is absolutely beautiful. It literally matches up with the whole theme of being golden perfectly. Like, the boost is just so, so clean as well. The noise it makes in-game is ridiculously good. And obviously, the color theme is just absolutely perfect for this white octane right here. Something I completely forgot to show as well. It's a spreadsheet value for this alpha boost. So, on PC, where it's normally a little bit cheaper, it's 800 to 900,000 credits. And obviously, on Xbox, nothing at all. But honestly, yeah, like I said, Xbox prices are normally a little bit higher for alpha items. So this thing is easily over a million and I can't wait to see the price rise in the future. It just feels so weird having this thing because every single pro player in the game has it. And that just blows my mind anyway that they've got the facilities to obviously get themselves an alpha boost. But yeah, obviously on Xbox, there's only two or three. I know that Sun has E-Wave had one, but I'm pretty sure he was lending it. Didn't actually buy it. But honestly, yeah, this thing is the best boost in the game, hands down without a doubt. With there being a massive rise in alpha caps over the past month, it's really weird to me because I don't really know what what this is going to do. Obviously, Alpha Cap is on such a lower level. Like, Alpha Cap right now, I do believe it's about 170k, but it went from 110 to 170 within a month which is a massive jump. That's 60,000 credits right there. That is a hell of a lot of profit. And if you didn't know, alpha items are basically items in the game right now that are completely discontinued, completely rare, that came out in 2015 to certain players, obviously paid the beta of the game. So there's the beta nugget right there. We've got the alpha cap, also the goldstone wheels and the alpha boost. Obviously, the beta nugget is going for about 21k. The alpha cap is going for 170. Then you've got the goldstones, which are speculated to be getting close to a mil now. I don't really know what they're doing because I would never go for them just because they're not my cup of tea. And obviously, the gold rush, which is speculated 
speculated to be between about 1.2 to 1.5 million credits in the long run, which I cannot wait to see. And I've still got some absolute bangers of trades coming up right here. So first of all, the Striker White Dune Racer. I already have one, so I was like, you know what? It's a duplicate. I might as well quick sell it for something that's going to be easy, which is White Apex. Right now on the spreadsheet, they're 90 to 100, but realistic, are going to be selling for about 105 very soon. So I thought, why not take this trade? Next up, we are going to be selling a Heatwave Black Market right here for the maximum value, surprisingly, which is going to be 2,050 credits because Black Markets right now, I'm not going to lie, they are scary. Julian Dragons is doing pretty good. It's holding up, but every single other Black Market has been either flatlining or starting to drop. So I'm definitely going to keep you updated, but yeah, make sure I'm being careful with Black Markets right now. Next up, once again, Deja Vu, we're going to be selling a Black Market for its maximum value, which is going to be 1,700, but it has started dropping, as you can see right there. So I thought, you know what? It's going to be a basic trade, but getting myself more credits is only going to result in more profit in the long run. Next up, we are going to be selling one of our Grimalkins, which I wouldn't normally do for the fact they're so rare right now, but obviously it's pink, not the best color in the world, which is 200 to 300 on the spreadsheet, and we're getting 800, and also a tactician burnt sienna shat cramps. That's about 900 credits right there. Obviously, not going to say no to it. Once again, we are going to be getting ourselves another Julian Dragons. This time, it's going to be another non-crate, and I'm paying 5,000 credits, which is a mid-value on the spreadsheet, but Julian Dragons seems to be the only black market right now that's actually rising. All of the rest are sort of flatlining, and obviously, Julian Dragons being the most popular black market goal explosion in the game right now, definitely not going to say no. Next up, I find myself on Rockety Garage for some reason, and I find this guy wanting to buy black K2s and also a titanium white riser gold explosion for 900 credits. Don't really know why, because take a look at the spreadsheet right there. You know, really basic values. And we're getting ourselves 900, which is above the max. So I guess I'll take it. I don't really know. Next up, we're going to be sending our black market blueprints. I've got 800 of them, and two of them right here are going to be the black mainframe blueprints, which right now on the spreadsheet for the regular is 4.5k. But look at this thing climb. It doesn't even look that good to be fair, but for the fact it's black, second best color for black markets most of the time anyway, and obviously white skyrocketing right now, it's going up as well. And getting myself 5.6k, which turns out to actually work out to be, I think it's like 10,000 credits in total. So I'm definitely not going to say no to it. My good friend Rose has obviously wanted to buy these, so I was like, fair enough, lad. For the final trade of today's video, we are going to be getting ourselves a forest green fireworks gold explosion, which on a spreadsheet right now, 1.7 to 1.9, but this thing is dropping to be fair, because every single fireworks in the game is obviously getting less and less rare so then the price is going to go down and honestly if I'm paying this cheap I'm not going to say no to it. It was looking for like 1.7, then 1.5, then accepted 1,250. And honestly, not going to say no to it. It's going to be a real like struggle to sell just because there's not that much demand. But it looks really good. And hopefully in the long run, that's going to be a decent amount of profit. That is going to be it for today. I hope you guys did enjoy a crazy journey. And we finally completed the car setup. Ladies and gentlemen, it's taken a long time. But if you are new around here and want to stick around for content like this literally daily, make sure you are subscribing to the channel and turning on post notifications. Like I said previously, if you want me to try and get the white hat left, Let's go for 10,000 likes on this video. I do not want to see anything less, and I'll try my absolute best to try and find one. And yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow.